you know, how does, you know, kind of what we've seen in COVID, what I'm really trying to figure out, how is that given, you know, Elgin, that understanding of, you know, what people need better or more, you know, and even maybe faster now than ever before. Uh, you know, if there's anything that you can say about that. I, I think, you know, everybody's been impacted one way or another, right? The, the, the big takeaway for a lot of people and a lot of businesses is that, you know, cloud technologies, remote work, these are not optional things. Mm. They're not going anywhere. Right. I think they're here to stay. So there were things that, you know, that we were we were out there proselytizing, you know, well before and we're not alone, but well before anything happened here. And it was sort of like, hey, go shelter in place and quarantine. Right. But businesses are just sort of like, oh, we have works well enough. Right. We're just going to go ahead and keep on doing it. Mm -hmm. Maintain status quo. Right. That, that's a that's a basic human element is to sort of resist change. Right. Um, it's not really possible anymore. So in, in that context, right, we're a cloud native company. We from the from inception have had our entire support staff work remotely, hundred percent. There is no corporate headquarters office building somewhere like it's people with laptops, right? Because we, we believe that that's that's the way of the future. So much so that we've organized ourselves that way. Um, but we bring you know that mindset, that attitude to to a customer who has maybe not invested in some of those things as early as they could have. But really need to really need to, to make that happen now, right? And I talked to a, a client, you know, a couple of weeks ago, and she's you know in a business that's 100 years old. They're still using a typewriter for certain functions. Wait, what? So, cor correct. So when, <laughs> yeah, right. So um, so when what are they when, doing for? They're like printing labels. What are we what are we talking about here? <laughs> it, when they want to like add something to a hard copy document from like 10 or 15 years ago or longer, they're literally gotcha. like it's faster to put it into a typewriter, type the date, than it is to scan it and do something. Um, Interesting. Wow. So she's she's at home with her laptop, right? That's how I was talking to her. It's like you know video conference. And she's like, and here's my here's my typewriter that I had to bring home with me as well, is because she couldn't go to the office. And there was like, there's no way to get circumvent that that particular business process yet. Wow. And and that same kind of thing, right? Like it, you kind of look at it in disbelief, but in a lot of ways, you know, companies have made that same kind of a choice by not doing some of the investment and in technologies even over the last ten years, mm. right? Um, having data that's primarily shared through spreadsheets or emails. T to me, from my perspective, that is like a half step away from typewriter territory. It's almost the same thing. Um, thematically, it 100% is. There's so many ways to, to streamline, streamline, automate, interconnect, do it in a way that's validated, controlled, and secured. It, it's crazy not 